excuse me for a second while I drink some water. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're getting into it, setting up some controls. Uh, Tater has that weird symbol. I should ask him what they eat, why he does that. That's kind of his uh, his tag usually. It's just that symbol. Um, but yeah, Tater Nader, Resident Bowser Jr. main, uh, always plays Windy, of course. And it looks like uh, Shina is sticking with Donkey Kong. I wonder if he's just made a a deal with himself or, or some kind of promise to himself that he will go all DK this set or this tournament uh, but should be a good one uh, the Koopa Kids combo game or, and Bowser Jr's combo game has really increased in this game in particular so Donkey Kong uh, can take a lot of damage from this character oh my god that was insane. He just back aired him into. He just. Okay, so if there was the Pacific Ocean, he just back aired him across it, and he back aired him into Japan. Um, but Tater <laughs> gonna have a shot here with DK off stage. Um, Tater's a pretty solid pa player, and he's uh, good at using his ledge trap options that that uh, Wendy has. So I'm actually surprised we didn't see even more damage come out. But a double up air coming out. Uh, he's going to need to do a lot more though if he wants to win this game because that first stock was rough for him. Okay, up smash. That will kill. Okay, I was not expecting that to kill. Uh, but uh, pretty strong uh, despite Donkey Kong's weight. And Tater is all of a sudden back in this game. How did that happen? He needs to make sure he does not get grabbed though. Uh, Shine just needs a little more percent, and then that ding dong window will be uh, open to him. I think uh, Tater's played against Shine a lot, so I'm sure he's aware that taking po uh, Donkey Kong to Pokemon Stadium like this oh no, will result in that happening to you. Um, but uh, Bowser Jr. can be pretty evasive with his clown cars and uh, using. The Mecha Koopas can control the stage a little bit. Um, plus how disjointed that jab is. Um, good lord. That was some immaculate Donkey Kong playing coming out from Shine there. Uh, <laughs> I am speechless at this point. That back air train off the beginning really set the, the tone for that match. And Taternator found, was able to find his footing uh, after taking a quick first stock, but Shine just fired back, and that uh, Congo punch just killing so early there really just sealed the deal. Uh, so I think, yeah. So I think that uh, Tater still got a shot at this. He just. Uh, <laughs> needs to make sure things like that don't happen to him. And he doesn't get ding dong. Like, uh, he only got ding dong once last that last game, but um, Chine was able to find those early kills with the punch and the back airs off stage. Um, but other than that, I feel like uh, Tater's playing this matchup pretty well. Um, he's just also struggle a little bit to find these openings and he's done a lot better uh, he's been able to find them this uh, this game a lot better I love the shield pressure that uh, Taternator is establishing because uh, with those disjoints Bowser Jr. is able to pressure his opponent's shield pretty well um, he doesn't have the pinpoint accuracy of, the, of other characters but because Donkey Kong's shield is just so big like uh, you know that uh, Shield damage can go a long way against this character. And uh, Tanerator doing a good job of avoiding uh, Donkey Kong, hitting Donkey Kong and allowing him to come back. And that's 45 damage right now there from raw up pairs. Tanerator uh, is lapped him in terms of percentage. This is looking like a much different game. And he's throwing out the taunt. 
Will. That was a taunt to get body right na there, but it, unfortunately for Shine, it was happening to him instead. Back airs. Okay. Uh, Taterator, I think he could have made it back. Looks like he maybe screwed up off stage there with the side B. Because you get a jump there, and he must have just gone right into the up B instead. So, Shine going to get that stock there. Of course, as far as SD goes, that's probably not too bad. You're at 170, um, was it? And another taunt coming out from Taternator. Can he repeat the earlier feat? No, it looks like he's going to get hit here. And I, if I'm Taternator, I'm worried a lot about that KO punch because Shine was able to find his mark with it last time so well. Um, but Tater is in a really good spot here. If he can just find this kill, um, it'll be like the first game never even happened. Okay. Back. Back air gonna send Shine off. And he just taunts on him at the ledge. What are you doing, David? Alright. <laughs> the ding dong. Uh, yeah, so at 60 there, yeah. So Shine with that rage is actually terrifying because he does not need to put on a lot of damage here to get the ding dong all over again. Um, so although he's at a super high percent, it's almost, it's, it's more like an advantage. It's reminding me a lot of Smash 4 and the, how much a rage was a factor in that game. Um, but yeah, so he needs maybe one more hit and he's not going to get it, but almost brought that all the way back. Wow. The the triple taunt from Taternator, really, I mean, if he lost that game, he was definitely asking for it. Shine, <laughs> again, almost brought that back. And I wouldn't even be mad. In fact, I would be feel like everything was right in the world. Looks like we're just opting for Pokemon Stadium again. Both of these character players like the stage. Okay. <laughs> Donkey Kong spot dodging that fork was like the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Somebody needs to clip that and meme that. There's got to be some kind of application for that. But anyway, Taternator off stage here. Um, gonna make it back. He needs to watch out for Ding Dong again. I feel like there's an alarm. In in a uh, Tater's head, it's like, okay, I'm in the window. I need to avoid the grab. Maybe he doesn't know it that well, though. I'm sure Shine tells them. He seems to get it very often. Okay, raw, uh, raw at, at fair doing 21%. Wow, that's such a strong move. Yeah. Okay, so Taternator going for that F smash there. He usually will throw the Mecha Koopa and do the, do the F smash so that uh, it makes it seem like the Mecha Koopa is it, safe and the Mecha Koopa will bail you out. Okay, wow, Shine went for it all there with the the down, uh, the forward air. Oh, but didn't get it. And now Shine is at a very high percent, but again, all he needs is one grab and this will slip out of Tater, this game will slip out of Tater in his hands. This DK with rage is terrifying. Okay, I guess he was a little out of the range there, but he still catches the air dodge. And Taternator is on his last stock. Okay, did the raw Congo punch do almost as much damage as the raw forward air? That's kind of crazy. I guess one of those has a lot more knockback. Okay, picks up the neck. Koopa. Nice catch from Taternator. Uh, that jab is really strong. Uh, not going to kill from that part of the stage, though. And Ding Dong going to kill. Oh no. He got three stocked.